Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and you are enjoying learning uh, Telegram bots. And in previous session we have learned how we can reply to any messages which is being sent on Telegram group. And in this lesson we are going to learn how we can keep on reading unique messages and keep on replying. Because in previous lesson, uh, whatever you saw, the problem with this is that if you see in the offset we have kept offset as static. So it is going to read new message one time and then it is just going to keep on reading the same message again and again if you keep running the same code again and again. Now to overcome this I have written a new code and it is actually if you see this code is quite similar to what we had in the previous code. I will let you know what is the changes which we have made. So now in this code new code what I have done is here you can see that our function is now accepting offset okay, which is basically a parameter and this parameter we are updating here. So this function is now returning offset and also accepting offset and now here uh, the this is a place where we were calling this function okay and now you can see in this function what we are doing is uh, read message is the function which we were calling and now we are passing offset value to this function and initially when we are calling it for the first time in that case offset is going to be zero and then uh, it is going to read the message and then whichever is the latest offset basically latest update id that uh, latest update id is going to get assigned to offset and then it is this function is going to be called again with the new offset or latest offset okay because here we we are saying while is uh, true okay this is a way to run endless loop okay so this loop is going to keep on running forever and that is the reason if i run this code now this code is going to keep on running forever and i'm just going to run it and going to show it to you so now you can see this code is running forever and if you, it is running and it is now see trying to pull new messages so right now there is no new messages so it is not showing anything here so here what I will do is I'm gonna write hi and now you can see once I write hi we also get reply hello because that is what we have written in our code and also it prints out the same message here in the backend but now if you see uh, if I write something else for example let's say if I write a test or some message in this case you can see that we are not getting any reply okay we just uh, but here in the backend you can see that our new message is being read so new message is being read by this code but it is going to just match everything uh, with the message uh, for example here we want to match everything with hi message and if it is matches then we are we want to send the reply okay so this is what this code can do so here if i write, write hi again it can reply hello again so it doesn't matter how many times I write hi, it will keep on replying hello. And it is not going to read the same message again. So for example, let's say if I stop this code and if I run this code again, in that case, it is not going to reply with hello. Okay, so I'll just show it to you here. You can see the screen here on the right side. And now let's say if I run this message again, it is not going to reply hello because it has already processed this message okay these are older messages so that is the reason now it knows it has already processed older messages it is not going to process the same message again and that is how you make sure that you always process unique message again and you always make sure that all your latest messages are being processed so that's it in this lesson see you again in the next lesson